Dr. G here from naturalfoodsdiet.org. Today I'm going to show you a really quick food to make and that's a soft boiled egg. Now you may ask, why do we want soft boiled egg? I like hard boiled egg. Well, the advantage of a soft boiled egg is you leave the yolk undenatured by heat and it doesn't alter the cholesterol, possibly making it more difficult to digest and possibly making it toxic. Now, there's a substance in egg whites that, if not cooked, can deplete your biotin. So, in an egg, we want to cook the white and leave the yolk intact uh, in its natural state, in a runny state. So, a soft boiled egg is perfect. It cooks the white and it leaves the yolk liquid. So, here's the way I do it. There are variations. Again, you want to adjust things. It uh, depends on the size of the eggs partially, but, he, but here's the way I do it. I take the eggs, I put them in a bowl, or a, actually a pan, that has one inch of water. The water is actually cold. I take the pan, I put it on high heat, full blast, cover it with a lid. Now what I'll do is I'll wait for this to boil. Once I hear that it's boiling, I will then set the timer for 3 minutes and 40 seconds and I'll let it boil for, the, uh, boil for that time. Then at the end of 3 minutes 40 seconds, I will take the pan off, I will put it under the faucet, put in cold water to stop it from cooking. And that's the key to a soft boiled egg. If you leave it hot and let it sit, then the yolk will continue to cook. We need to stop the cooking process. Timer's about to go off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There it is. Turn off the heat. We take our pan with the eggs and we cool it off with some cold water to stop them from cooking. So that's all there is to it. And then we have an egg that uh, I'm going to put some more cold water on this to just cool it off a little bit more. We have an egg that hopefully is soft boiled. What I do is I hit the eggs like this with a the dull end of a knife. And then we, oh, well, let's turn off the timer that's bothering us. And we take the egg and we peel it. Now, if an egg is uh, too fresh, it doesn't peel nicely. This one's peeling very nicely, so the egg was uh, not so fresh. Uh, as you can see, the shell's coming off very nicely, which is always good. It looks like our white is completely cooked and then we want to see if we have a soft yolk and it looks like it's soft it's not pourable but that's a very uh, soft yolk so that's just about perfect the way I like them experiment see what way you like them This is Dr. G, naturalfoodsdiet.org.